After two days of searching in Kenya's old Pajeta reserve, finally, they find her. Loading their gun with anaesthetic, these vets are careful to make sure it's a sleeping lion they're dealing with. The point of all this? To collar her with a GPS tracker, something that will help collect data about this lioness that, in turn, will help them protect their local prides. We're taking blood for genetic and uh, disease studies, which, as we understand what, what's happening to the population, if there is any disease challenge. So we periodically collect blood from uh, our different patients so that to keep track of disease. GPS collars are used to record a lion's exact location and store readings at regular intervals. This information is sent by satellite to a server which can be downloaded by scientists and conservationists. It was a GPS collar that helped researchers realize that Cecil the lion was killed by illegal hunters in Zimbabwe last year. The reason as to do that is to keep track of the animal movement uh, to see how the prides are uh, merged with others and how they break up and at the same time generate good data for uh, action management of the animal uh, population itself. Even though they're not on the brink of extinction, lions remain a threatened species. Health checks like these help, but conflict with humans and the destruction of their natural habitat has caused Kenya's lion population to fall by a hundred every year. And it's not just happening in Kenya. Across the continent, the number of lions has dropped by an estimated 95% in the last 70 years. It's hoped these GPS trackers will do their bit to protect Africa's prides helping this lion wake up to a safer and more secure Africa.